There are plenty of exciting horrors in the works right now, destined to hit our screens in the coming weeks or teasing us with release dates far, far into the future. With all this potential, it can be easy to overlook the finer details. So we're going to cut through the noise and look at the exact castings that we're pumped for in these upcoming horror releases. I'm Amy from What Culture, and here are 10 upcoming horror movie castings that have us excited. 10. Finn Wolfhard as Trevor, Ghostbusters Afterlife. Yes, I know this is cheating a little bit, and there was a recent big Twitter argument about whether or not Ghostbusters is a horror, but it's got ghosts in it, so just let us have this one. For fans of the first two Ghostbusters movies, hearing that Bill Murray, Dan Aykroyd, Ernie Hudson, Annie Potts, and Sigourney Weaver were reprising their franchise roles for Ghostbusters Afterlife was fantastic news. Just as fan-pleasing as that, though, could be the decision to feature Stranger Things' Finn Wolfhard in this November 2021 release. Since bursting onto the scene in 2016, Wolfhard has marked himself out as one of the best young stars in the industry. In Jason Reitman's Ghostbusters Afterlife, he gets to play Trevor, the grandson of the great Egan Spengler. When Trevor, his mother, and sister are forced to move into the dilapidated farmhouse left to them by Egan, the history of the classic Ghostbusters and the Manhattan cross rip of 1984 resurfaces. Wolfhard is now 18, which is just insane to think because so many of us still see him as just that little kid that we first saw in Strange things, but in his years in the industry so far, he's already more than proven his horror abilities. Starring in Stranger Things, in the It movies, which he was just superb in, and now in Ghostbusters. This movie could afford him the chance to once more steal the show and potentially even lead the franchise forward from here on out. 9. Hannah John Kamen as Jill Valentine Resident Evil Welcome to Raccoon City Paul W.S. Anderson's Resident Evil movies very much cherry-picked select elements from the video game series they were loosely based on. For long-time fans of that legendary gaming franchise, the good news is that a new, more faithful Resident Evil picture is on the way. To be based on the first two games, this is a film that many are eagerly keeping an eye on. One particularly smart piece of casting for Welcome to Raccoon City is Hannah John Kamen in the role of franchise phase. Jill Valentine. John Kamen is likely best known for wowing as Ghost in Ant-Man and the Wasp and for her turns in Game of Thrones, Killjoys, Ready Player One, and Netflix's The Stranger. As for Jill, she's one of the two playable characters of the first Resident Evil game, a total badass who would also take center stage in Resident Evil 3 Nemesis and feature in Resident Evil 5. Safe to say, we could be looking at a long-lasting star here. 8. Jared Leto as Michael Morbius. Morbius. Sony Pictures' Morbius is one of the many movies hit hard by the COVID-19 pandemic, being initially booked in for a July 2020 release. Here we are over a year later, and Morbius is currently scheduled to arrive in January of next year. Morbius is a character far more entrenched in horror than many of his fellow villains, featuring in comic book titles including Adventure into Fear, Vampire Tales, and Strange Tales. As such, Daniel Espinosa is serving up a slice of superhero horror for audiences to feast on. To this day, Blade and Blade 2 are held on a pedestal when it comes to how to create a comic book movie that adds a generous dollop of dark and sinister horror to the usual capes and tights action. And hope is high that Morbius can similarly showcase the more eerie, chilling side of Marvel Comics. 7. Zac Efron as Andy McGee, Firestarter Zac Efron is one of those rare talents who managed to break out of the classic Disney bubble and solidify themselves as an actor of quality and fair versatility. It may have taken him a little while to do so, but Efron has these days shaken off the high school musical stench thanks to appearances in the likes of Neighbours, Parkland, The Greatest Showman, and The Disaster Artist. When Efron was announced as headlining a new adaptation of Stephen King's Firestarter, it piqued the interest of many to hear that the increasingly impressive star will be trying his hand at horror. In Keith Thomas's take on Firestarter, which is currently filming, Efron plays the Andy McGee character portrayed by David Keith in the 1984 movie adaptation. During their college days, Andy and his future wife Vicky participate in an experiment that gives them both telekinetic powers. Years later, the couple's daughter Charlie develops her own pyrokinetic abilities and is able to see the near future. When the government kills Vicky and kidnaps Charlie with the intent of weaponizing her, Andy's desperate to keep his daughter safe. It'll be interesting to see what they do with this, and even more interesting to see Efron in this new light. 6. Devon Sauer as Logan and Lucas Wheeler 
For some, Devon Sour is thought of fondly for idle hands. For others, it's as the Final Destination franchise's Alex Browning. Then there's even those that think of him as the titular Stan from Eminem's music video. I mean, hell, there's even some that conjure up memories of young Devon as the human version of the headline ghost in 1995's Casper. The point being is that many genre fans have a huge soft spot for Devon Sauer, which is why it was great to hear that he's been cast in Don Mancini's Chucky TV series. Not content with casting Sauer once, Mancini has actually got the Canadian playing two roles in this long gestating Child's Play TV offering. Here, Devon will play identical twins Logan and Lucas Wheeler. Very little is known about either of these characters as of now, bar the fact that Logan's wife Bree is keeping something from him. Regardless of the minimal information though, it's just forever fun to see Devon Sauer pop up on our screens, particularly if it's for something steeped in horror. Given Don Mancini's previous Child's Play worked, one has to imagine that Mancini has plenty in store for Sauer's Wheeler siblings. 5. Charles Cyphers, Nancy Stevens, and Kyle Richards in Halloween Kills With Halloween Kills creeping ever closer, franchise fans are getting pumped and ready for the return of Charles Cyphers, Nancy Stevens, and Kyle Richards. For Cyphers, he picks up the Lee Brackett role he played in the first two Halloween pictures, with him being Sheriff Brackett at that time. This time around, Lee is a security guard at Haddonfield Memorial Hospital. In the case of Nancy Stevens, she'll be reprising her role as Marion Chambers from Halloween 1, 2, and H20. Marion was the assistant to Sam Loomis in those first two films, with her then being killed off in the opening of the no longer canon H20 as Michael hunted for details on Laurie Strode. Finally, Kyle Richards will be back in the saddle as Lindsay Wallace, one of the youngsters who was looked after by Jamie Lee Curtis's Laurie in the 78 classic. The Lindsay character was never seen again after Halloween, but Richards herself went on to become a staple of the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. To Halloween fans, seeing three more of the original cast joining Curtis in Halloween Kills is all kinds of cool. 4. Jordan Peele and Keegan-Michael Key, Wendell and Wilde Few people have wowed in the horror genre in recent years more than Jordan Peele. Having won a Best Original Screenplay Academy Award for his directorial feature debut, Get Out, Peele followed that up with the fantastic Us, brought back The Twilight Zone to life, and also nabbed another Oscar for producing Black Klansman. Right now, all eyes are on the Jordan Peele-produced Candyman, released later this month. But a little further out than that is the hugely intriguing proposition of Wendell and Wilde. Written by Peele and long-term writing partner Key, Wendell and Wilde instantly grabs your attention attention once you realise that both of them will be starring in this movie too. Well, their voices will be, because it's actually a stop-motion animated picture. In Wendell and Wilde, Key and Peele voice the titular two demon brothers as they face off with a nun and her pair of goth teenage children. And if that's not enough to sell you immediately on Wendell and Wilde, then you're clearly very tough to please. And this offering is due to hit Netflix before the year's out. 3. Angelina Jolie as the Bride, Bride of Frankenstein Right, the big caveat here is that the picture has been loitering in development hell for several years now. But still, if A Bride of Frankenstein headlined by Angelina Jolie can somehow be pulled off, then it could make for one of the great modern-day monster movies. Oscar winner Jolie has been associated with A Bride of Frankenstein remake dating back to 2017. Then, Beauty and the Beast's Bill Condon was to direct the film, which was intended to be part of the shared dark universe kickstarted by Tom Cruise's The Mummy. When The Mummy bombed, Universal axed plans for a new shared world of monsters, although Bride of Frankenstein is one film that still remained and remained on the table. Jolie taking on the bride moniker is a wonderful piece of casting, and adding extra oomph to this offering was Javier Bardem, another Academy Award winner, as Frankenstein's monster. 2. Luis Guzman as Gomez Adams, Wednesday To date, there's been four actors to bring Gomez Adams to live-action life, and this week we saw another name added to that list. In a stroke of genius, Netflix's upcoming Wednesday series has moved to cast the brilliant Luis Guzman as the patriarch of the Adams family. Previously, John Astin played a hokey go Gomez in the original Adams Family show, the uber suave Raul Yulia charmed as the character in the two movies of the early 90s, Tim Curry took over for the TV movie Adams Family Reunion, and Glenn Taranto starred in the doomed The New Adams Family TV series of 1999. Now, renowned scene stealer Guzman has signed up to star in an eight part Wednesday show that's being marketed as a coming of age tale for Jenny Ortega's Wednesday Adams. Adding further onto the exciting casting news element of Wednesday, the news of Guzman's involvement was quick followed up by the announcement that Academy Award winner Catherine Zeta-Jones would be starring as his wife, Morticia. With Tim Burton on board to direct, and Smallville's Alfred Goff and Miles Miller serving as showrunners, there's definitely plenty to be excited about right now pertaining to Wednesday. 1. Elizabeth Debicki as Pinhead 
HBO's Hellraiser. For casual fans, it's nuts to think that there's been a whopping 10 Hellraiser movies to date, with the most recent feature being 2018's Hellraiser Judgment. Unfortunately, Judgment, like the vast majority of these 10, was a swing and a miss from a once beloved franchise. It's not that people no longer like the Hellraiser series, of course, but more that this franchise hasn't actually served up anything of good quality since the early 90s. At present, Hellraiser is in the midst of being rebooted for both the big and small screens. While the Nighthouse trio's David Truckner has been tasked with directing a cinematic reimagining, more intriguing is what lies ahead for this horror staple on TV. Not only is Hellraiser getting a TV series, but HBO are handling said series, with Godzilla, King of Monsters Michael Doherty, Falling Skies Mark Verheden, and Halloween's David Gordon Green all involved. Whilst it's not been made official, the major rumour is that Elizabeth Debicki is being lined up to play a gender-swapped pinhead, and if this is true, it would absolutely be one way to freshen up an IP that's long since been stagnant. And with that bombshell, we've reached the end of this list of 10 upcoming horror movie castings that have us excited. Which one of these do you think is the most exciting prospect? Let us know in the comments below. And remember to check out whatculture.com for more lists and articles like this every single day. As always, I've been Amy from Whatculture, and I'll catch you next time.